best hooks for a landing page. Today we're talking about landing page hooks because a hook is the most important part of your content. A hook is what's going to determine your visitors scroll down the page. A hook is what's going to determine your viewers view more or read more. So if you want to learn the most compelling hooks for a landing page, keep on watching. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter. I'm a conversion strategist and I help coaches, consultants, and online service providers get clients consistently without social media burnout so that they can scale with evergreen systems and strategies. Today we're talking about landing page hooks. I'm gonna give you some formulas that you can use on your landing pages, sales pages, as well as your content. A hook is the most important part of a landing page. You wanna make sure your hook is at the very top of your landing page with the biggest fonts, which is gonna determine that page visitor to scroll more or sign up for your offer. First, I wanna start by giving you some of the ideas that work really well with landing page hooks. The first idea is to call out your ideal client literally start your hook by calling them out. Like in my case, I would say coaches and then start my hook. So starting your hook by calling out your ideal client is going to compel them because it shows that this is exactly for them. Second hook idea is future pacing. Future pacing is a very effective strategy when it comes to copywriting, and it works really, really well on the content hooks, especially on landing pages. So if you are able to have your audience imagine themselves where they wanna be, this is gonna compel them and have them wanna sign up for your offer. Third hook idea I have for you is asking a question about a pain point that they have. Start your hook by asking a question. Once I go down the list of ideas, I'm also gonna give you examples for each idea. Fourth very effective hook idea for a landing page is literally telling them what this is. Why are they on this page? What is this page for? What are they signing up for? Tell them exactly what it is. Fifth idea, and one of my favorites, is what are they searching on Google? Usually the phrases that your ideal client searches on Google about your niche makes a great hook because this is what they're already searching for. And the final idea I have for you is literally X, Y, Z for A, B, C. Tell them what the thing is and who it is for. Simple as that. So let's look at some of the examples of these hook ideas. I'm gonna give you an example from one of my clients. My client has a lead management app and the landing page we created is to sign up for a free trial for this app. Their target audience is business owners, digital marketers, freelancers, and such. So let's look at the first example of calling out the ideal client. Like I said, freelancers are one of their ideal clients. So we started the hook saying, social media managers, you need this. This is a perfect example of a hook, literally calling out your ideal client and telling them that they need this. If your ideal client is new moms, you can say new moms, you need this. If your ideal client is um, lawyers, you can say lawyers, you need this. Practice owner, owners, you, have, you need this. Um, struggling with back pain, you need this, right? Calling them out and telling them that they need this. Now let's think about the future pacing. What we talked about before where we help them imagine themselves where they wanna be. And for this hook, we can say, imagine your spreadsheet sending you a reminder about when to follow up with your lead. Now, my client told me one of the biggest pain points of their ideal client is that they're using spreadsheets uh, and lots of times they need to go ahead and search for who to follow up and when to follow up and it's not sending them uh, a reminder on the day and time with the specific information. And since 
their uh, lead management app solves this problem for their ideal client. This is something we uh, come up with when it comes to future pacing model of their hook. When it comes to the idea of asking them a question about their pain point, this is where we said, wish your spreadsheet automatically sent follow-up emails, right? Because that is a pain point for their ideal client, that spreadsheets are not really sending follow-up emails and telling that this lead management app is going to help you do that. So that's the best way of asking a question about this pain point while you're telling them, hey, I have a solution. The next hook idea we had was telling exactly what the thing was, right? So here we come up with these ideas. Sort your leads and automate your follow-ups with one app. That's one hook. The second hook we came up with, manage your leads and automate your follow-ups. Third hook we came up with for this idea, lead management app for called, calling, called emails, right? It's literally telling them what it is. This is a lead management app and it is for the purpose of called, calling, cold emails. And next idea we talked about was what the ideal clients are searching for in Google. So here's what we came up with for the lead management app. How to automate personalized email follow-ups. This is something their ideal client is searching for because it's a pain point and that that's exactly what they're typing on Google. So we use this on our landing page hook or sometimes even in our content hooks. And for the hook idea we had about XYZ for ABCs, we simply said lead management for freelancers. Let me know in the comments below which one of these content ideas you like the best and you're gonna use on your landing page. See you next time.